Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a custom announcement bar in your Shopify store. So specifically this video is for prestige theme. If you have any other theme, I have already created more videos. If you are still not able to find it, then definitely you can contact me, I will help you out in that. So what is the best feature in this? So actually you can slide your announcement bar from right to left or maybe from bottom to top. And the important thing is like you can actually represent your product by few words. Why? Because in that way you can connect your customers to your product. So at the top you can actually uh, modify the background color, modify the text color, you can put the link and if you want you can also put some emojis. So this is how you can actually connect your customer with your latest offers. Maybe you have any uh, festival and you wanted to promote it more. So uh, currently on my screen you can see that it is a simple announcement bar. So you can write the text and this has a simple background. Now we are interested to put it uh, into a slider. So let me show you how you can do that. I have already added the link below in the description. You can download the code and copy and paste the code and then you are done. So let me show you how you can do step by step. So first of all, you need to go to your dashboard of the Shopify store. Here you can see that I have already the prestige theme installed. If you have any other version that this will work fine. All right. So first of all, you need to click on these three dots, click on edit code. Once you are going here, here we have some folders and files. You need to click on sections. Here we need to create a new section. So inside of that section, we will have to write some code. So first of all, I wanted to show you it, the documentation which I will be providing you when you will be downloading the code. So the first thing is like you have to create a section with the name of custom annou dash announcement dash bar. You need to copy this name and click on add a new section and paste it here. Then you need to click on done. So that way you will actually create a new section. And the next step is you have to uh, put the code inside of it. So here I have already mentioned the step. Paste the code of the downloaded file. So what's the file name? This is the standard dash custom dash announcement dash bar dot text. So you need to open this into any of the editor which you have. Then select the whole code, copy it and then paste it inside of it. But before that you have to delete all the things inside of it and uh, right click and paste it. Now you need to click on save the changes. All right. Once you saved the changes, then you have to do one more thing. I'm going to close this and here we have layout, we have theme.liquid and inside of it you need to find uh, announcement. So actually there will, have, there will be some announcement bar existing. What we have to do is uh, you need to see here like we have header in just above it we have announcement. So you need to copy this whole thing and paste it below and then you need to uh, put the comment bar. So how you can put the comment bar? Uh, press control forward slash or maybe window key and forward slash if command forward slash if you are using Mac. So this is how this will look like. Angular bracket, sign of exclamation and then dash dash and at the end dash dash and uh, uh, angular bracket close. And next section is like announcement. So we need to modify the name of this with our original name, which we have just created. So what was that? Custom, custom dash announcement dash bar. So how you will confirm that this name is correct or not? So you can see that on the right, we have an arrow. If you are clicking on this arrow, this will automatically open that file, which we have recently created. So this means that our uh, name is correct. All right. So now you need to save these changes. Once you saved these changes, then you need to refresh this page again. So here you will see that the announcement bar will be showing that is latest one. Older one is hided. Why? Because we have commented that section. So here you can see that we have announcement bar inside of it uh, or on the right hand side, we have show and auto play. If you are pressing the show button then uh, it uh, the announcement bar will be displaying on the top and auto play means it will automatically slide if you are clicking on arrows keys arrow keys it will slide but if you don't want then after five seconds it will uh, automatically slide so you can also reduce number of seconds like uh, if you want 
one second, then 1000 milliseconds would be the timing. If you want two mil, two seconds, that means 2000 milliseconds. So similarly, we have uh, five seconds for now. Maybe we can put it a uh, little faster, like three seconds. And then you need to add a message here. For example, buy one, get one free. Or maybe you can customize this message like buy two, get one free. This is the first message you can see on the top. And another message is free shipping for US customers. All right. And now you can see that arrow key arrows are displaying on the top. Here we have the option of background color. You can change the background color to any other color. You can change the text color to any other text color. And for example, you want something else. If you have any, uh, for example, you have a color code. So you can also use that color code that will be displaying on the top. All right. So here actually you have the option of adding different colors for your uh, announcement bar. All right. You can see that in most of the cases, people are also using a black background. So you can use any any one which you are interested in. All right. And uh, then we have, for example, I'm clicking here. Maybe uh, I need to save the changes first. Let me refresh this page again. And here we go. Now you can see that it is sliding from right to left. If you want to slide from bottom to top, let's save these changes and refresh this page again. And here we go. Now you can see that bottom to top, it is sliding like this. And if you want, you can see it's mobile version. So here we go. Now you can see that we have the mobile phone version of this one. And if you are doing these things, and this is how it looks. All right. If you want, you can also see here the mobile version. This is the desktop version. This is the mobile version. So in the mobile phone, this will look like this. So this is pretty beautiful. So if you are still facing any issue, then definitely I will help you out in that. And you can customize uh, different things uh, around it. And uh, you have also uh, add message uh, blocks. You can add more and more if you want. You can also add one more thing that is link. For example, you have any specific product to display. For example, I'm interested to display the whole collection, all collections. Click on save changes. And first example, I am interested to refresh this page again now. And here you will see that we will have a link and that will that link is connected to my collection page directly. All right. So this is really beautiful feature. You can implement it into your store. If you are facing any issue, definitely you can ask me for help and I will adding the contact details below in the description. So you can directly message me on the WhatsApp. If you have any suggestion, you can also give me that suggestion. I will solve that problem because they, in most of the cases, people are using uh, apps that are really costly. So you don't need to spend money on the apps. You can just use it for uh, lifetime all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel uh, thank you so much once again see you in the next video